welcome, welcome. My name is Tiffany, welcome to my channel. So this video today is about my pets. So you're gonna be meeting them. I have four pets, four babies. Two of them are reptiles and the other two are doggies. So the first one that we have up is Belle. Let me get her. This is Belle, isn't she so cute? This is Belle, she's a Chihuahua mix with a terrier and she's 14 years old. Well, she's about to be 14 in July. And she's just my little baby girl. She's she's always following me around. She loves me to death, I can tell. You know, like, when your dog just looks at you, you, you just know. She's a very healthy dog, unlike his her brother. I mean, she mainly eats her kibble, and she loves walks, but her, her she's old, so her legs are a little wobbly and weak. But yeah, this is Bill. This is Bill. <laughs> you know, she's very aggressive to uh, strangers because you know, like Chihuahuas are protective. But once you get in her good side, she is the most loyal pet you can own. Say bye. bye. So the next baby is Sammy. Let me go get him because he is currently not sleeping in his bed right here. So this is Sammy. Yeah, you can you can see that they look very similar. They're actually twins, boy and girl. This is this is Sammy, the boy. Oh, you can see that he has dirt all over him because he was just sunbathing outside. He's a Chihuahua mixed with rat terrier. And he's 14 years old too. Oh, Sammy, you're heavy. Yeah, this fella requires so much care. He has a heart murmur and it's pretty bad. He's old, he's 14 years old. And he's always taking trips to the vet, always on beds. I'm just trying to make him live as long as possible. Look, he looks, he looks a little high. I, I believe I can fly. Yeah, he's, he's a little stubborn. He acts like he like owns the house. He just Hi. walks around, he does pee. When he's, I don't know, when when we leave him alone, he wants attention. I think that's that's when he pees in the house. But he's a little sweetheart. He He's actually different from his sister. With strangers, he does not, he's not aggressive. He acts like he is, but he's actually the sweetest little baby. Oh my goodness, he looks so high. <laughs> You're okay, boy. You're okay. Yeah. You're okay. Well, yeah. This is Sammy. Say bye, boy. Bye bye. And the third baby, I think I'm gonna show you guys Hubert. I'm gonna go get him. So, this is Hubert. Hubie, Hubie, Hubie. Oh, his face, you can see he's shedding on his face. He's always shedding. There's never a point in time where he's not shedding. We got him late February this year, 2021, like three, mo three months old. Huh? I mean, <laughs> it would make him eight months because he was five months. I've had him for three months, so he's eight months now. This is him, he's a bearded dragon. Here, let me show you guys. What he looks like, isn't he beautiful? Oh so yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell a reptile's personality because they don't show much as, you know, dogs do or cats do, but with the time I've had him, I think I got his personality down. He wants to eat all the time. I limit him to like, ow, ow, ow. No, he wants to go. I limit him to like six worms and then um, I leave a salad in his, his terrarium all day for him to eat. Boy, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, me and my boyfriend got him at a family-owned um, pet store. And yeah, he was not the cheapest. My boyfriend actually also built his home right over here. And it's super pretty. I'll show you guys in another video how I feed him, so. He's super curious, always low-key freaking out and like just running around. And every time I bring him out onto my bed, he's always trying to poop all the time on my bed. I don't know why. If there was a reptile diaper, please, please. tell me about it. Because <laughs> this guy needs it. And yeah, I mean, 
This is Hubert. Say bye. Bye, Hubert. Look at him. He doesn't want to leave. He just want to pose. He just want to pose, huh? Look at him. Oh, super sharp nails. Where are you going, boy? Where are you? All right, so the last baby I'm going to show you guys is Potato. If you know, leopard geckos are nocturnal. So they sleep during the day and then they wake up during the night. So I'm gonna wake her up. I brought her little her little house down so you guys can see. Oh, there's a fat tail. Here, I'll show you guys what she looks like. <gasps> Look at this little face. Hi, babies. So this is Potato. She's a year old because I got her last year in April 2020. So now it's May, so she's officially a year old. She's so sweet. She just runs around on my bed. She looks, she's such an adventurer. At night, she like comes in front of her house and she's just like kind of like posing and stuff to make her, make me get her out. And she loves my bed. She loves my bed so much. Here, let me try to, let me try to get her out. This is her. Isn't she so beautiful? Yeah. She, you guys may think that she's a little thick. I try to feed her good. I mean, she looks healthy to me. So until she doesn't look healthy anymore, then I'll do something about that. But yeah, here she is. Hi, how are you? <laughs> She doesn't like being touched too much. I mean, if you handle her, you kind of have to just like pick her up and then she'll like deal with her being on your hand. But if you, if she's like walking on my bed or something and you like touch her, she's like, oh, oh, she freaks out and she like kind of runs. I feed her like dubia roaches, um, mealworms, superworms, sometimes hornworms. Yeah. Okay. Let's say goodbye now because she is a little upset. So that's it, that's my world. That's what I basically do every day. I just take care of them and that just makes me so happy. So if you stuck around this long, thank you so much for watching and um, please support a newbie YouTuber and I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, see you guys.